The WordPress block editor enables you to use both columns and rows so you have full control over each page's layout. To get started, open the block editor for the page or post that you want to work on. Click on the plus sign icon or use the menu at the top of the screen and select columns. The block editor gives you several options for how many columns you want to include within the row you select. By default, the block editor only lets you choose presets that include up to three columns within a row. However, once you place one of those presets, you can click on the plus signs between them to add further elements to the row. The editor treats each column as its own section, so to speak. You can add any of the blocks available within the editor to each column that you're working on. Once you place the blocks you need, you might also want to spend a few moments customizing your column settings. When you mouse over a row with columns in the block editor, a formatting menu will appear. That menu includes options for moving columns around, changing their alignment, and modifying the row's width. When you mouse over a column that contains a block, that element formatting menu will replace the default one, like here with the paragraph block. And if we have the table block, we'll see that formatting menu instead. There's another set of options that enables you to customize the columns block beyond just the formatting menu. To access it, select the row that includes the columns you want to edit and click on the gear icon in the top right corner of the screen. A sidebar will pop up, including options for changing that row's color, padding, and column widths. The color settings enable you to change the color of the text and links within the row, as well as for its background. Keep in mind that the settings you choose here apply to all of the columns in the row. However, you can supersede those options by tweaking the individual block settings within each column. If you want to customize this block even further, you can also set HTML anchors and additional CSS classes from the advanced tab in the settings menu. But that's everything you need to know about how to use and configure this important block. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.